Papa. It's uh, nice that you mentioned how important the uh, role course uh, border regions play. I'm from the Saarland, and we have borders to um, Belgium, Luxembourg, and France, so this is a real European region. We have 240,000 people who cross the border on a daily basis, and how do you explain to these people that, hey, you can't cross the border? today, whereas yesterday you couldn't, and the people can't come into Germany to work. And we're talking about uh, some uh, number of people, uh, people in the health sector who couldn't get to their place of work. That shouldn't be allowed to happen, and we have to really do our utmost to see to it that should there be a fresh infection wave that we keep the borders open and that the Schengen key is complied with. The commission I belong to and the core and the parliamentarians in our part of the world are working on this and have developed some concrete solutions we do believe that at all events we should have cross-border crisis slash pandemic solutions, possibilities. So we should have joint committees. That's the only way we can come up with the appropriate solutions. So we have to sort this out jointly. We need closer cooperation at all levels. So what we have drawn up in the Saarland should be a good basis to cooperate with other regions. My fear is that if there were to be a second wave, I don't know if everybody um, agrees with that, but I just want to finish the sentence that we really have to be ready. We have to be in a better position as we have seen in the past few weeks. So we all have to work on this together and really implement these proposed solutions. So otherwise, Europe has a real problem. Thank you. Yes, it's true, uh, Madam Kontais, that uh, 